Good morning, this is Jennifer Piper with the Florida Property Girls team at Mainframe Real Estate. Today, Lisa Morgan is out. She is taking a Certified International Property Specialist designation course. She's been in that for about a week now, but she will be back with us next Tuesday. And in her place, we have Rachel Otterman with, from First American Title, and they are located off of Magnolia and Concord downtown. Yeah. So welcome, Rachel. Thank you and for having me. She's going to explain what the title company does and how they play a role in the real estate transaction from contract to close. Yeah, so the title company is basically an unbiased party to the real estate transaction. So we handle the, the closing of the um, property. Now, as we've explained in some of our coffee talks, we talk to you about the escrow deposits that has to be done the very beginning of the contract and that check that personal whether you're writing a personal check or whether you're doing a wire transaction in the beginning that actually the contract and that escrow payment goes right on over to First American or your title company yeah so once we get that deposit we send a receipt to both agents um, from there we order the title commitment um, the lien search and um, we also issue the owner's policy, which protects the property owners from anyone coming back and trying to take the uh, property. Fantastic. So this actually benefits both buyers and sellers in the mm -hmm. transaction. That's correct. I mean, there are things that can happen if you don't have title insurance. There can be, you know, someone that forged documents. There can be, like, clerical errors. So it's really important to make sure you have an owner's policy to protect you. Yeah, and that owner's policy is something that after closing you will receive and then you'll hold on to that throughout the transaction. I mean, actually past the transaction, but throughout you owning that home. And then if you decide to refinance during a, the first three years or if you decide to sell during the three years, uh, you'll actually get a little bit of a break on that owner's title policy when you do sell. Yeah, we get reissue credit all the time. Sure. So. Rachel, is there anything else that you want people to know about title companies that we don't already know or that would help or benefit yeah. any buyers or sellers out there? Yeah, I mean, if you ever have any questions with the title company, with the transaction, you know, that's what they're for to answer questions. So always feel free to reach out um, and don't be afraid to call. Verify wiring instructions. Yeah. Very important. Oh, um, um, yeah, we just did that last week about wiring instructions or wire fraud. And that is just a really big thing now. Yeah, I wanted to make sure I mentioned that. I saw your, yeah. your episode last week. It's just really important. So, yeah, and give us a call and get to know who's working on your file. I mean, that's it's all about the relationship, and feel free to give us a call. Yeah, and one of the things that the contract recently started pushing out is about municipal liens, and that's something else that they, the title company is now handling is municipal lien searches, and that actually checks out for any utility or as well as Permits. Permits. Yeah, that's correct. Yep. So, well, thank you, Rachel. Thank you for having me. And now we can go into events. You know, my favorite part in this session is there, this Thursday is on April 12th is the Thornton Park Wine and Art Walk. It starts at 630 and it actually lasts until all the wine runs out. Ooh. So, yeah, head out to Thornton Park. You, As you're walking through there, they have a lot of um, art, they have people setting up booths and whatnot, and it's really a fun time. And then I have to mention this, even though this would probably go into next week's segment, but I have to mention this now because I'm excited. Bon Jovi is coming to the Amway Center on the 18th, and that concert starts at 7.30. And my last Bon Jovi concert was with my best friend and Lisa. So go Trisha. Go Bon Jovi, and you guys have a great week. I did not have tickets, but oh. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta change that. Yeah, so thank you, and have a great week, and then we will see you next Tuesday. Cheers. Cheers.